What's behind the yellow sign? RV tips, tricks, and trade secrets for the RV traveler from Mark Pope with RV Education 101. How many times have you gone to your toolbox for a screwdriver and couldn't find the right screwdriver or bit that you were looking for, especially when you're working on your RV? I think most RV owners have been there before. One reason is RV manufacturers use screw types designed to be easy for workers to use and that prevent screw heads from stripping. Let's take a brief look at some history of screw head types, screwdrivers, and the types of fasteners RV manufacturers use today. Why are there so many types of screw heads? There is the slot or straight head screw, which was the first type of screw head invented and used. There are Phillips head screws, hex head screws, Torx head screws, square or recessed head screws, clutch head screws, and eight point head screws referred to as star screws. And if that's not complicated enough, there are hybrid combination head screws like this Phillips, slotted, and square head combined. During my research on this topic, I found an article that said using square headed fasteners saved Henry Ford's workers two hours assembly time per vehicle. That's a lot of time and money saved when it comes to assembly line work. So Ford wanted to license the screws, but the owner of the square head screws, P.L. Robertson, refused. That's when the Phillips head screw owned by Henry Phillips gained popularity in America. Henry Ford needed screws that were fast and easy to use and could be torqued tight for fastening that would hold. As time goes on, technology improves, and years later, long after Henry Ford, RV manufacturers want better designed screw heads that can save time and money on their assembly lines. So all of these different types of screw heads you see today are a result of inventors designing a better screw. What types of screw heads are commonly found in RVs? I mentioned technology a moment ago. The original Phillips head was designed to self-center in the screw and cam out or slip out when the screw was tight. This worked well for the early assembly line workers, but improvements led to better designs like the posit drive screw head. This design improved the fit between the bit and the screw head so you can apply more torque and it won't cam out like the Phillips head did. These improvements helped assembly lines and prevented issues like screw heads and bits stripping out. I think we have all experienced a bit or screw head stripping out at one time or another especially when using a power drill. One screwdriver proven to work well where torque is required is the Robertson square head or recessed driver. What is important to understand is the Robertson square head comes in three different sizes. As a matter of fact, all of these different types of driver bits we are discussing today come in various sizes, including the old slotted screwdriver and the Phillips head. So, Understanding the various types of screw heads is one thing, and making sure you use the correct size bit for the screw head is something else. Using the right type driver bit, but the wrong size bit, is why so many screw heads and driver bits get stripped. So, it's possible to use a square driver bit to remove a combination screw that looks similar to a Phillips head, or you can use the correct size Phillips head to remove the same screw. To go one step further, there are hybrid bit drivers that have both the square and the points designed into the same bit. In RV construction, it's common to see square or recessed screws, combination square and Phillips head, hex head, Torx, and eight point star screws. The eight point star screws use what is referred to as a spider driver bit. If you look closely, you can count eight points on this spider driver tip. There are other types of fasteners and bits, but we covered most of the common types today. So my recommendation for what type of screwdrivers and bits to have on hand in your RV would be this type of driver that can use interchangeable bits, along with a good set of bits in the various sizes and types we discussed today. It doesn't take up much space in your toolbox, and you will be prepared to deal with almost any type or size screw used in constructing your RV. Happy camping.